In this video, we're going to show that the regression line always passes through the mean of x and the mean of y. This is a very, very standard question. So let's take the regression model that we have. So we know that yi is just our predicted value, right? Plus our fitted residual, right? So if we didn't have this ui hat, then this was just this would just be yi hat, right? But given that we have the true y, we have to add the fitted residual. Now, note that this equation is true for any i, right? This is true for person one. It's also true for person two, all the way up to person n. So we could just write these equations, like this is for person one. It's just beta naught hat plus beta one hat x one plus u one hat and so for person two right we're going to have the same thing right just everything but for person two and we can go all the way up to person n and now all that we have to do to really show this is really simple so there's no reason why I could not add all of these equations, right? Like this is something that we do when solving equations all the time. Let's just add this equation plus this equation plus this equation. And just as we add everything on the left-hand side, we're going to have to add everything on the right-hand side, right? So I'm going to have y1 plus y2 plus all the way up to yn. And this is going to equal... Well, I'm going to have all the beta naughts, right? So it's going to be beta naught hat plus beta naught hat plus n times beta naught hat, right? Let's just put a parenthesis here. Then I'm going to have the same with the beta 1 xi's, right? So I'm going to have beta 1 hat x1. And then I'm going to have plus beta 1 hat x2. And all the way up to beta 1 hat xn. Let's put another parenthesis here. And then I'm gonna have plus u1 hat plus u2 hat plus all the way up to un hat. And again, let's put parentheses here. So let's note a little bit what's going on, right? All of this, we can rewrite as the sum from i equals one to n of yi, right? I'm just summing up all the yi. Then all of this, this is just n times beta naught hat, right? Because I'm summing beta naught hat n times, right? So this is just going to be n times beta naught hat. Then I'm going to have here, this one's a little more complicated, but all that I have to do, this is beta 1 times x1 plus beta 1 times x2 plus beta 1 times x3 and so on and so forth. So this is just beta 1 hat, which I can factor out, times the sum of all x's, right? So this is going to be beta 1 hat times the sum of all x's. And then we have, this is just the sum of all of the residuals, right? But we know from the first order condition, this is actually the first first order condition, that the sum of all the ui hats has to equal zero, which is one of the conditions for optimality. Right? So here we don't have to add anything else. This is already zero. And then the next step is pretty obvious, right? Like just, just divide both sides by n, right? So as I divide here by n, and I divide all of this term by n, so which is the same as just dividing each component by n, here, I'm going to have that the n's cancel out, right? Notice that this is just y bar, right? So all of this implies that y bar is equal to beta naught hat plus, I'm going to have the beta 1 hat times, and here is like the sum of all x's divided by n, which is just x bar. And we just showed what we were asked to show, 